This is a Waterbury time only wall clock with a 12 inch drop. It is time only, runs for eight days. And I picked this up for around 35 bucks today. It was on sale, so I think that was worth it. Um, movement has been cleaned as much as I could and oiled. I am hoping to get an ultrasonic cleaner soon. So uh, there's that. And uh, I'll show you, I guess, what it has real quick. So for starters, we go in the bottom door. We actually have text from when it was first built. That's not the right pendulum hook or the pendulum screw. I have to get a new one. Um, if anybody can tell me where, that'd be amazing. Um, right now I'm actually using the one from this just to kind of hold it in place. I'm not expecting it to really keep time or anything right now. But it's worth a shot. Here we can see the spotty dial uh, just from age. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm going to show you the bat or the movement of this clock. So here's the inside of the movement, uh, front of the movement, I should say. Nothing really much to see. And, uh, clean it up a little, oil it, and uh, put it back together. Here's the key that came with it. Uh, this looks like a WM. This looks like a Gilbert Clock Company key. This is, huh? With a Waterbury clock, I have a WML Gilbert key. Patents pending. Hmm, that's cool. And that's it. Thanks for watching.